Okay? I wouldn't shoot. So, first chord is E. You have it in your book, in your, in your, in your thing back there. Look for the E. It's right here. I'll show you where. I'll show you exactly where. Right here. It's this one. Right there. Now, if you look inside of the little circles, it has numbers in them. You see the numbers? Two. Three. Two, three, one. What, are the, what does two, three, one represent? Those represent your fingers. Okay? So, two, three, one means this. This is your first finger. That's one. This is your second finger. That's two. This is your third finger. That's three. So it's saying in this chord, these are the only three fingers you need. Right? But look at the positioning on that chord of E. It's saying second finger goes here. Third finger goes right under it here. And on that first fret, on the third string, on the one, two, one, two, three, four. You do it like this. This is an E chord. This is it. Right there. Right there. That is an E chord. It says 2, 3, 1, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, look. Let's do it again. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. 2, 3, 1. 2, three, one, two, three, one. It's an E chord. I showed this one to you already. that B. So the B is going to be like this. You're going to go here and then you're going to use these two strings like that. So you're going to skip the middle finger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like a power chord, but it's for the B. So there you go. And no, no, no. Forget about the middle finger. Remember, forget about the middle finger. It's just going to make it harder for you. So you go there, you go there. Okay, there you go. Very good, very good. And in order to do the last chord, which is an F, all you do is raise up every finger in the exact position that you have them in. Raise them up to the next level. There you go, there you go. You got it right there. And then you go back to that E. three chords to do that song there but you got to do them in the way that the song is saying so if you look at the word it says what would you think if I sang out of tune would you stand up and walk out on me right both B's are the same the the F is just above the B there's a B there's the F then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go to the E Follow it in the rhythm. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you walk out and stand out on me? That's the rhythm. Take it away, Phoenix. Two, three, one. Remember, it's saying use second, second finger. 
there, third finger there, and first finger there. That's that's your E. That's your E. Mm -hmm. Now the B chord that I had shown you. that, remember? There you go. There you go, right there. And then you just go everything up. You just do it in that sequence. What would you do if I say how to? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Loan me your ears and I'll sing you a song. And I'm trying not to sing out of key. Out of key. And that's the whole first part. And then I'll show you the second part. But you gotta, you gotta nail that. Three chords, Phoenix. Three chords. Now you can do three chords, right? Okay. Okay. Yep, that's your F, and that's what you want to do, and then go back to that E. And remember, two, three, there you go, there you go. There you go, those are the three chords. Watch the book because the book is telling us when to do the changes. So, what would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Loan me your ears and I'll sing you a song, and I'll try not to sing out of key. Okay, that's the whole first part. Here's the chorus part. Ready? Ooh, I get by with a little help from my. Three D A E. And then E. Fingers always got to be hitting a string. There you go. It's chorus. hitting things. There you go. You know, get that finger down one chord. One, here, right here. Right there. Right